YouTube, what's up? All right, let's get into it. Again, like I said, you know, the exchange of innocence or trust. It's uh, it's something that can be exposed. It's, again, it's a chemical reality. You got to understand that energy is constantly exchanging between people. That's what a relationship is. You're related to all things. It's just about the proxi proximity and the the uh, quantity, I guess you could say, of the or the volume of the energy and how it's being expressed or traded back and forth. So, when you have a relationship with someone in any form, if there's trust, it's clean energy. It's clean, it's sustainable energy, it's running through the both of you like a battery. When the energy starts to come back dirty, or the energy stops coming back, it starts to seep back, it doesn't come back, it doesn't reciprocate the way that it once did, then you'll realize that something is up. You gotta understand that that's when something is wrong, because, again, it's always your know, extension of yourself, so you know that the, this extension of yourself is now behaving in a certain way, in a different way than it was once behaving. And, uh, you just got to understand that 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 the memories are hereditary. You got to understand that you got to you can if you can realize your life backwards then you can realize your life because it has everything to do with karma and the zodiac, you know, as far as feelings that permeate from lifetime to lifetime. Somebody does you foul in a lifetime. You have a string of mem memories that you hold on to a piece of. So you have to hold on to this whole thing because you're holding on to a piece of it so it holds back on to you. Because energy is not flowing like it was. You're holding. Again, you're not exhaling fully. The fear of letting go is you're not fully exhaling. Most people inhale, but no one's fully exhaling the lungs. So when you don't let go of that, you continue. Like, you have a feeling that, say, a person is supposed like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm this type of zodiac. I have a prone, and I'm prone to feeling this way. Uh, I'm designed this way. I'm sad or I'm angry. I'm short-tempered. But it has everything to do with events from supposed other lives or dreams, what have you, whatever you want to call them, permeating into this life. Because the feelings are coming from lifetime to lifetime. And then, again, if you're charged, if that's your voltage, that's what you're charged with. That's your feelings that you're coming into lifetime with. So say someone does you foul and you never let it go. When you die, that feeling still runs. It's still going. It's energy, so it doesn't die. It transfers and it comes back with you when you come back, when you return, when everything recycles. So you got to realize that that you're create you're recreating the memories because you're recreate you you're still holding on to the emotion. You're still holding on to the energy there. You can't take it when you leave. That's how people stay on this earth, stay in this prism, because that's what this is. This is a prison for consciousness, or what they call souls. So your zodiac is your imprint of the emotions that you're holding on to. You say you come in with all these different things and all these houses or whatever, and then you respond to love this way because you're Venus house and you're emotional because the moon in this, and then you're the sun is this way, and Uranus is this rebel planet, that, and you're a rebel in this aspect, so Uranus means this for you. But you got to realize that that has everything to do with you constantly recreating the same memories. Memories are hereditary. You have to understand that's a chemical reality. If your mother's an alcoholic and you become an alcoholic, you continue to perpetuate those same memories over and over again. It's the same ingredients. Nothing's going to change. It's still going to bake the same cake. You got to know that. So you got to realize that um, it really is uh, it really is your emotions from throughout eternity that leave this residue, this cosmic encoding or coating, because your skin is just a coating. Your devilish coating. It's, it's the body again is the devil. You got to realize that God in devilish form is the body. You got to realize that everything is love. So lust is even love in devilish form. Again, that's why you got to realize life backwards. So if you have a trauma, or if you've been feeling a certain way, then a trauma happened. If you can look at it in a reverse way, like in the last life, that you have, you felt that what you might feel lonely this life because of something that happened to you last life. So you continue to perpetuate things in this life that make you feel lonely because you know that experience. So, yeah, I'm going um, to move on because I don't know when this is going to cut off.